All right, guys, we got another video special here. This one is about ARC genomics. Uh, we're going to listen to Kathy Wood talk about the genomics space and some of the innovations that they're expecting in the future. Uh, I won't go too deep into what this company holds. I'm looking at it more from vision uh, and being incredibly beat up from a technical standpoint and then also uh, what the upside opportunity could look like in regard to targets and also what kind of options plays might be a lot of fun. So without further ado, we're going to get started by listening to Kathy Wood. Here you go. The Genomic Revolution, ARKG. This is a very exciting fund because for the first time in history, we are able to identify mutations in people's genomes. What are mutations? They're programming errors, and, and they happen more and more frequently as we age. So now we're going to be able to identify them for the first time. Uh, the technology is ready, and it is inexpensive enough. Breakthroughs are going to continue, one of which is gene editing. You have a programming error, you edit it out. And we're already seeing cures for disease because of editing out these programming errors. So the first person in a beta thalassemia trial, CRISPR therapeutics beta thalassemia trial, uh, had his gene edited nearly three years ago. Uh, prior to that, he would go to the hospital on an emergency basis about 17 times a year for a blood transfusion. In the last two and a half to three years, he has not had a trip to the hospital. That's a functional cure. So these are fairly rare diseases, but we think that gene editing and other gene therapies will uh, apply to big diseases and broad-based diseases like diabetes. Again, CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex are targeting diabetes. Now, knowing those companies and their management teams, if they believe this is a target, then I believe it. So I think for the first time, we're going to see cures for human disease, and that's why everyone should be interested in the genomic revolution. All right. Kill that. Kind of leave it on that screen. I kind of like that anyway. So here's the deal, guys. Um, I actually, I think that this investment could be another asymmetric return. The technicals in this chart, I'll pull it up here right now. The technicals look amazing. Let me see here real quick. I want to try something a little bit different. I want to see what this looks like enlarged. Uh, oh, it spills over. Okay. All right. Well, I can fix that later. For now, um, let's just do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So here, here's what I want to cover. Um, let's just look here at this chart and what it looks like. You can see the downward trend. We tried to break above it and failed back in July of 23. I'm gonna enlarge this a little bit so you guys can read it better. In July of 23, we failed. Uh, the whole market failed. I mean, that was a tough time for the entire macro. This is why I say that it's so important to ensure that macro is good because if you don't, then you have issues where, where the fundamentals for the company, or in this case, the ETF, could be ready to rock. The risk gone, it's ready to go. But the second the macro uh, falls out from underneath a bit, technicals break down and what could have been a breakout and what looked like it would have been uh, dissipated very quickly. So again, macro trumps everything else. Always remember that. But what I wanted to talk about here is uh, kind of what's been forming lately. And I, I like what I'm seeing. We're still down 74% from a technical level. We're seeing... Some strength and support, uh, not a lot to speak of on the on the um, weekly RSI or MACD, but you could see a little bit of curling up, and like we're ready for a launch, um, and and again some divergence here too as well on the daily time frame. So you, so we do have divergence that's ready to launch here, and again if we just zoom in to this and look at how perfectly before again it found a little bit of support and broke down. Could do that again, but I doubt it because on local time frames, we are at peak volumes and we found support there along with the support line. And if we go out here, I mean, that's peak volume going all the way back to May of 2022. Or I'm sorry, I got to take a little bit of this off to get peak volume here again. Um, but it looks like it looks like peak volumes are a little bit higher than us, higher if we go up that high. 
But still, if we go back to February 2023, a year ago, we're still at peak volumes. So this is impressive. We found support at this level. We found support on the previous resistance line this time. And and I'm a, I'm just waiting for us to go above the 200 moving average on the daily. And I think that it's going to be time to sail. And this one is very interesting from an option standpoint. Definitely do your own work at uh, pulling this up under the options chain. But I'm going to hop over here and take a look at some of what I have. I actually have, I have 2026 too. I don't know which ones those are. I'd have to look. But um, I do have a 2025 play right now. That's where the bulk of my money sits on this one. And um, let me just pull it up real quick here. Arc G. Oh, it looks like I got a punch in a code. Give me a second here. It's always something, right? Um, all right. So we know we got to January 2025. I might try and pull up my others too, my 2026s. But let me see where I'm sitting here. I think it's like in the 45 range. But I don't want to select it if it's wrong. So let's just see. Uh, five, eight, one. Okay, cool. Continue. Let me pull this up and see what contracts I have. All right. My contracts are... Let me give you something pretty to look at in the meantime. Uh, okay, January 2025, $55. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll check the options chain just to make sure that that's got volume on it. And I think I actually tried to overshoot, and I think I know why I did that. Yes, the 200 weekly moving average. I love to use that as a target on these really depressed stocks that are down for years. Um, it's just I find it to hit with such a high amount of accuracy if I'm looking for a one to two year leap. So again, that, that's peaking right around the 50 range. I actually have these at 55. If we look here at the options chain, we might see a reason why. Let's just take a look here and see why I chose that. Maybe it's not the best anymore, but I have gotta imagine that I did this deliberately based upon um, the amount of volume on the chain. So let me just pull it up. All right, 55. Oh my God. Yep, I'd say that open interest. Yep, that's why I chose it. <laughs> that's pretty clear. So that's where all the open interest is. That's where all the volume is. Now let's go ahead and pull this up. And, oh, I'm sorry. I jumped out of that. Let's go back into here, pull this up. Look at the chain. What did I pay for this? I paid 69 cents. So it's actually a little bit low, lower than my cost basis. But I, I entered this a while ago. Um, one five seven five. So I got a lot of contracts and we're going to go to this. We'll keep it at 56. I think that's a good representation of where it's likely to hit. So let's see what kind of returns we get. <laughs> okay. So this is the kind of stuff I love, right? So let's look at the chart again. So we're likely to have a break above the 35 range. That's our first FIB extension, and that's getting where our trend line resistance goes down. Very easy, very, very easy for this thing to run to 47 or 48 and maybe top there and or get to 52 in the next year. I, I'm just saying, if we go if we go risk on, this is happening in my opinion, okay? Not, oh, by the way, let me get the disclaimer out. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a high school dropout who got rich. Um, I've been retired for four years, and I'm a multimillionaire. That's it. What I do is educational purposes. This is for me to show what I'm doing. This for, is, is for me to show how, how I'm making money. What you do with it from there is up to you. You you're, you got your big boy or girl pants on. Okay, so let's let's go back here. Uh, 35 is the breaking point. That's just going to happen. Maybe I take 5%, 10% off there. 5% probably. Not a lot. And then... I'll look at the daily here too to see if we have anything. No, man, it's just free sailing. Okay, so the weekly again, we're gonna we're gonna skyrocket up to forty seven pretty easy. If I look at this and say, okay, what if we got to forty seven by May? Okay, I make five hundred and forty eight percent. Let's say it goes up to the fifties, where we're likely to see that key resistance, the fifty one fifty two range, eight hundred and seventy one percent off of. Uh, 80% move by May. Let's say it takes longer. Let's say it takes to August. If we get between the 52 range, which again is that 200 moving average, and that that's 635% in gains off of a 78% move, so a 7x, 8xer, and then again 47, so 320% off of a 65. That's about five six x. So I I'm looking at over the next two quarters, maybe a little bit more, 
making anywhere from like four to nine X off of this thing, which is good money. Um, again, if we, if we got to the 52 range, let's see, what was that? Was that, where was that? Where are we at? Where are we at? 52. Yep. That's perfect. So if we got to the 52 range by August, let's just say, and I, this is not a crazy move. This is only a 70, 80% move guys. This is not insane by any means. I can make $768,000 by July, August with 108. These are my asymmetric bets. This is what I specialize in. This is what I'm trying to teach you guys to look out for. Um, again, genomics, I think, is going to be a huge play. We should definitely, you know what? We should look at 2026. I do own 2026. Let me go to my other, another account here. Might have to punch in a stupid code again. But let's look here. Let's pull up 2026. We'll check that options chain, too. Ah, God. So much security. But you know what? It's worth it. Keeps me safe, right? All right, so, mm -hmm. okay, there's my code. All righty, here's my other account. Let's see what we got here. What are we surfing for these 2026s? And how much fun is this? I actually think these are probably the better buy because you're getting yourself more time. All right, uh, December, oh, they must not have had January's yet. December, uh, $50 strike. So let me see if this is worth it. Let's go up here, December. You might want to check January too. Um, but anyway, uh, $55 strike. Yeah, there's, uh, I don't love, or 50, 50. Okay, good. That's got the open interest. Okay, I was making sure I got the right one. Um, all right, so let's check this out. Let's go to 50. Let's go to the 50. Oh, wait, that's January though. I wasn't in January. That might be a good one to look at too though. Um, okay. And I'm going to hit this. And I'm actually going to raise this because this could go higher. Um, by that time, we could hit the dot six one eight, so we could go to seventy seven. So, let's see if I should be putting my money into this one, and let's see what kind of returns it gets. Oh, I didn't buy that many contracts though. I only have two hundred, and I bought them for a dollar thirty five. Wow, that has not been a bad deal. Sometimes you go out longer, guys. Uh, so twenty seven thousand dollars. This, if this gets between the fifty two and the next couple of years, I make four hundred percent off of seventy five. That that ain't bad. $109,000 off of 27. I don't hate it. It's an easy 5x. We like 5, five 6x's, okay? All right, so let's say we get up to the sweet spot on this one because we've given it more time. I'm going to start dumping money into this one. <laughs> or at least uh, January 2026 because I, I like this, man. Uh, let me go here. So again, going up to the dot six one eight. not even trying to set a new high. If the market takes off, we could go to 108. I don't want to know how stupid that is. You know what I do? I do. I want to know how stupid that is. Oh, here comes my Jack Russell Terrier. She wants me to take her outside. So we're going to have to make the short. But anyway, so if this did in, let's say, two years get to a new all-time high, that is um, $1.128 million or 4,100% off of a 270% move. Or if it gets to the 77, that's an 18Xer. Wait, no. That's a uh, 18x off of 157%. I need to buy more of these. <laughs> that's just that's coming to my realization right now. Uh, or maybe I'll pick some January. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find a different one because you guys are probably gonna be looking at this. Anyway, um, this is this is what you want, guys. I don't know what to say here. Um, check my pinned post for the for this chart. You can see it right in there, and you can you can it, it's shared, so you can literally go into there. Um, there's a link. It's shared. You can go into there and you can pull this up at any time and see what I'm seeing. But I need to adjust these up a little bit. But yeah, this is crazy. This is a lot of opportunity in my opinion. I love I love the 4 to 10, 20 Xers. Those, those are what get my blood blood going. And uh, I it looks like I need to buy more 2026s. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out there a ways. So anyway... Uh, love you guys. Let me see. Is that, is that 2020? Yeah. December, 2025. So I will buy, I think some, maybe some January ones too. We'll see. So I got this auto tracking feature now. It's pretty weird. Anyway. Oh, there we are. We're back. Um, but yeah, yeah. So like subscribe, hit the, hit the bell, join. If you want to help support this channel, there's a bunch more stuff I'm going to be doing in the future. I will eventually change this to at least, I, I don't know if it's going to be starter pack or alpha male and females, but I'm going to make it to where I start having exclusive content for members only. So you people that are 
helping out and contributing to the channel, even at the lowest rungs, uh, I'm going to start making it to where you benefit over other people. I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it all out. Uh, you can see some of the details when you join on kind of what they entail. I don't, I'm still trying to walk through exactly what that all is going to mean, but definitely some stuff like this, I think will be a part of that. Anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, and I will talk to you later and get this uploaded. See you guys. Bye.